All right. We're just going for a quick test drive. <laughs> Yesterday's experiment was both a failure and a success at the same time. The issue with the fuel delivery was not just the pump, and I suspected that there might be other conditions, but it started with the pump anyway. So as soon as I replaced the pump, which actually took a couple hours and then got interrupted by rain, and, um, got the pump in and still wouldn't pump anything. So then just for uh, ease of diagnosis, Rather than get under the car and pull it off the tank, there was obviously some plugage between the uh, tank and the fuel pump. I have an electric fuel pump that I keep around for transferring fuel between and doing stuff. Um, so I used the electric pump to uh, just, I just kept hitting her hard. <laughs> and run it, run it, run it, run it until it uh, sucked some shit out of the tank. And uh, I didn't see any shit show up in the filter, so I'm not sure about that, but. Um. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see any big uh, clogs or anything, but that being the case, I suppose I had better prepare for uh, that happening again. If there's some shit in the tank that we've gotten to, or some sediment, or whatever, uh, that could all happen again. But I guess I'll have to keep that electric pump around. I know the electric pump does not like I did that all from under the engine compartment. I know those sorts of little electric pumps don't dig that. They'd rather be back. They'd rather push than pull. But. That was the only way I could kind of see forward. I'm just taking it out on a quick trip here to uh, wind it up maybe a little bit along here. And get some maximum vacuum. Anyway, I kind of forgot, like it had, it's been a while since I've kind of hung over the uh, hood of a car for three hours in an afternoon, so my body's in a lot of pain. Various little muscles in the lower back and stuff, you know, like, but I should do it more if I'm going to uh, avoid that kind of thing. So anyway, I am glad that uh, the last thing I need is two Valiants on check stands in the driveway. So I'm glad that uh, this one wasn't too much of a challenge. Although, you know, now that I get good eyes on it, I mean, I know that there's some stuff, you know, we've got that whole... Uh, there's a lot of blow by going on now, so really, I, I I have to plan for that engine swap at some point. Now that would be the first engine swap me doing myself, so like I can guarantee it's going to take longer than it should. Plus, I don't really have any flat cement or whatever, except at the back patio there, or the back uh, back door walkway. So that would probably be where I have to uh, use the engine waste. So it hasn't been hesitating or anything. I don't think uh, think fuel flows back to normal. I thought I had a hand pump. Um, not like the bulb that I've got in the Mercury, but I was thinking more of like a... Uh, and I do have something that's for pressurizing the coolant system, but I don't think it uh, can suck as well as blow. It can only compress. But uh, I was going to check it out just in case I had to, uh, or Kara had to. Like if I'm out and that thing clogs, we're a little fucked. I mean, I can bring the electric motor with me, but it's a bit of a hookup. But you could almost take the inlet off, plug a uh, hand pump in there, and fucking prime the bitch, right? Anyway, happy. If I was smart, I would have got fuel just now, but I'm not. Um, I did put a bunch in from the can, so there's a few lead. I suspect there's more than we actually uh, anticipate.
All right, well, that's good. Another repair. The Red Valiant rides again. And uh, yeah, we'll talk soon. Take care. Um, enjoy. And uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.